And then in terms of, um, like you said, the content expansion, I wanted to ask you, like, what are your thoughts about, like, you know, I guess freelance, um, hiring people who do freelance work for like kind of doing the editing and the recording versus like mm -hmm. doing it yourself. When yeah. is that a good time to do that? It's actually perfect. Perfect question. Funnily enough, because I had to deal with that exact problem when I was working on my chess education startup, because I was making educational videos and editing them and posting them. Um, at the point when it becomes clear, the way I made the decision was at the point where it becomes clear that your time can be better spent elsewhere. If, for example, for sales or for converting or like talking to some of your 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 dentists that are that are customers, they get a sense for where you should go next. Um, at that point, I realized that my time spent editing these videos didn't make a whole lot of sense anymore. And that as like the CEO, was it really my job to keep producing this content after we've already expanded past a certain point? So when I've noticed myself getting pulled in these, these multiple directions, that's when I felt it was important to kind of like say, okay, this should now, this sort of is important work, but it's not essential necessarily for the business And that if this wasn't done, we would still you know, be making money and all of that. However, if sales weren't done, then that would be a much bigger problem. Right. So it's basically this cost benefit analysis of where you as the, as the founder should be spending your time. And at a certain point it's, it's not content creation. Um, okay. So I don't know where you are on that kind of threshold, but I would imagine. Yeah, I, I, I found that when I was doing sales, it was, I mean, sales were going really fast, but then mm -hmm. when I'm not doing sales there, I mean, we have to like basically slow down. Yeah. So, I mean, I think like you're saying, like for me to focus on sales will probably like be critical to our company versus mm -hmm. like focusing on, because content production is obviously important because it fuels future exactly. sales. Mm -hmm. And like, that's our, like, that's what we need to have on the platform. Mm -hmm. But I think at this point, we at least have enough content on there so I can show somebody how to produce a similar quality of content and teach mm -hmm. them how to do it. And I think, um, I think you're right because I think like pulling me in that direction, it does obviously take away from like, you know, A, the things get slower because I feel like, because I'm making content and also doing other stuff, like the content mm -hmm. isn't like done on time. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like the deadlines are coming up and I got to like edit. I think this week alone, I got to edit like five, six hours of content, which takes time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, I think you're right in terms of like, it's just a hard transition because like you're so used to doing it yourself. I, I know exactly what I, you mean. And I don't mind spending the money. It's not about spending the money. It's just the fact that like, I don't know if I want to spend the money and then like not because I, I don't like, I don't know, is my time, you know, better spent doing that because like I'm, I'm making it. Mm -hmm. uh, versus like kind of letting it go in terms of like letting someone else do it. And uh, the cost of doing that, is it going to, I don't know. It's yeah. just so right? the, the simplest way I can, I can think I, I can frame it that made it easiest for me to kind of make that decision was that of comparative advantage. Was it, could I teach someone to make the video in a way that was like on like, not necessarily the same quality, but like good enough where yeah. I'd be satisfied having that on the platform. Um, if so, uh, could I do the same thing for like, these other things, like running the company or making these sorts of decisions or doing sales, right? When it comes to that comparative advantage, I realized that I could do, in, in my case, it was growth. I could probably focus on growth a lot better and have someone else do the content creation than imagine if you flipped it. If you were just doing content creation and you brought someone else to do that other critical role, like how would you feel in that sort of trade-off, right? That kind of gives yeah. you the answer you need for where you should spend your time. You got it. Okay.